Let's talk tea. Uh, well, my coffee's brewing from the last episode. Let's see how that goes. And I have it split up into a few different containers. Let's talk about tea. So, um, experiments with tea, very similar to coffee in that the main variables are gonna be temperature, water, and time and amount of tea. So you could do all sorts of manners of experiments. Um, one, one thing that I'm gonna uh, encourage you to do is uh, play with the temperature water if you want. Um, so I have my water at around 190 degrees Celsius, and you'll see that depending on the tea, uh, there's different temperature recommendations. So you can look things up. It's like a black tea, I think they recommend boiling or just under boiling. Uh, green tea is like 170 degrees Fahrenheit. Some of the oolongs are like 165. So, so take a look at that. Uh, what's really fun is that I was looking at um, uh, information around temperatures, and there's all these really fun descriptions of boiling water that a lot of the ancient uh, Chinese tea makers, the real inventors and uh, purveyors of of uh, of tea created. They'll have like little tiny bubbles. They're like fisheye bubbles are at 80 degrees. And like, uh, if it's the size of a salmon eye, it's like 70 degrees. I'll send you that link. It's pretty cool. It's a cool way to actually, um, it's like a temperature scale. What I have set up here is a, is a similar thing that you could do with your cereal dilution is that when you make your tea, I'm sorry, your cereal dilution, when your coffee last time, when breaking it apart into different, uh, different parts of fractional separation, Sorry, cereal dilution. That's when you add too much milk to your cereal. Um, what you can do is you can brew your tea, and and if you're if you're lucky enough to have around the house uh, a scale and some you know some some uh, some uh, black tea or something like that, uh, loose tea, then you can weigh out the very specific amount of tea. Look, maybe look online, see what works. Or if you have tea bags. You can uh, you can put your tea bags in, in your in your tea, and then what's what'll be fun is um, let me actually let's actually do it. Pouring water out, I'm saving that for another experiment. Okay, what might be fun is to put your tea in your teapot, um, and then and then start your tea, and then uh, maybe every thirty seconds pour a little bit out of your tea. Thirty more seconds, pour a little bit out. Pour a little bit out, you know what I mean? Pour a little bit out, pour a little bit out. And then maybe you could even do it every minute, every every 30 seconds, depending on how many glasses you have. And then you can taste them and see what this is tasting like. Wow, that's water, but you know, we're pretending. Um, so you can try that. Uh, you can also play around with the temperatures of water, the same amount of tea and see what happens. Uh, you can also try uh, varying the strength of the tea bags, but you probably get the same uh, uh, you know, expected results with that. Uh, but just goof around with tea and see what you can, when you can figure out. Um, yeah, okay, cool. So that's the experiments with tea and, uh, and good luck with it. All right, bye.